Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set an environment uh, variable into a Docker container. This is very, very easy. You have two ways to do it. Uh, the first one is just to use the dash dash env command uh, option, sorry, or a dash e. And to do it, I just check. We have no container, okay. We can run a docker run uh, dash d uh, with the name of our container, uh, for example, c1 dash dash name and c1 container. And we want to set uh, an environment variable named uh, myvar. Uh, myvar. Oh, myvar. And we want to set it to Xavki, for example. And uh, we need to have a Docker image and a tag. We want the latest test uh, tag. And to keep up uh, our container, we need to set uh, a process into our container. Uh, by default, I prefer to use uh, the slip uh, for one hour. I run it, we can check our docker PAs. We have our container and to check uh, the content of uh, our uh, environment variable, you can connect into our container with docker-ti exec, uh, docker exec, sorry, exec-ti, the name of our container, c1, and we want to run a bash, okay? And now to check the, the content of our variable, you can use the env command and we can check. We have my var set to Xavki, right? Uh, we can uh, remove our container. Or, and uh, for example, if you have a multiple variable, you can set it with another dash e. And we can uh, set my env. Sorry, my oh, my env. And we can set it to production, for example. We can run it again, and we can uh, run again a Docker exec dash ti c1 with a bash. And if we check, we have uh, my env. Uh, variable here and we have uh, my var uh, set here right uh, another way uh, to set our environment variables uh, we can use uh, a file sp a specific file to do it because if you have many environment uh, variables you you don't want to run it into the the command line and uh, to do it i just uh, use a uh, vars.env file. This is an example. And I clean it and I set my var my var equal to uh, Xavki and uh, my env set to uh, development development and I save it. So um, yes, we can uh, remove the previous container with Docker RM. And now we just want to run a Docker run dash D or DTH to run it in background. And we want to set the name of our container. And in our case, we want to run an env file uh, named uh, vars.env. Uh, is yes, uh, yes. vars.env, and we want to run again our Ubuntu images, latest version, and uh, we want to use a slip for one hour. If I check with a docker ps ok and now we can run again a docker exec dash dash ti it's the name of our container and we want to run a bash if I run again an env command what we have 
we have my env uh, variable and my var and the, the both uh, are set so yes that's all for today i think uh, yes uh, another trick if you want you can set the, the host name uh, for to define a, a name uh, for uh, our container uh, when you are into the container if you check here we have a host name uh, a random host name this is not uh, uh, very easy to use it and uh, if you want we can remove again uh, our container and we can run with uh, this line we keep it and we add just dash dash host name and we want uh, uh, my uh, my server we want to set it to my server and we want to have uh, an host name set to my server we run it again and we can run again dash uh, uh, docker exec dash ti on our c1 container and we want a bash oh, sorry bash and if we check we have our host name set to mine uh, my server you can run an host name to check it of course we have my server that's all for today thank you for following this video and see you in the next one bye